today I want to start off with my first empties video. Um, this is this is going to be my empties and then also products that I just didn't really like and I did use it a little bit and so I'm just calling them, I'm just retiring them I guess. I'm just going to throw them away so I just thought I'd stick them in here too. Um, the first thing I have here is the Nivea. This is the in shower body lotion. Um, this is for the very dry skin and I didn't really like this. This I had to use a lot of and I just didn't um I just didn't really find a difference with it. I didn't really like it. I didn't I don't know. And I just didn't like the smell of it. It smells like baby powder. And so I didn't I didn't really like that. So I will, will not be repurchasing that. In my Walmart beauty box this month, I also received the sample of the Nivea. This is the cocoa butter one, and this is for dry to very dry skin also. Um, this one smelled a lot better. It smelled a lot like cocoa butter, but again, I didn't see any big results, and so I'm not going to be repurchasing either of those. The next thing was <clears throat> we went through, this is the 3D Crest toothpaste. Um... My husband has been using this for years, and I was also using it, and it's really good. Um, he did want to repurchase, but then I found this new toothpaste. This is the Colgate Enamel Health, and this is the whitening version. It's in clean mint, and it says it replenish and polishes. And actually, after just like a couple uses of this, I did notice a pretty good difference in my teeth. And I do really like the taste because taste with toothpaste is a huge thing for me and my husband too. We're both really picky about it. And so we did repurchase this two more times. So yeah, I'm going to keep on repurchasing this. <clears throat> and then, let's see. The other things, now this, these are the Tresemme. Um, experts and this is the one step and two step where you use the conditioner first and then the shampoo. Um, these aren't all the way gone yet. I have about maybe a third or a fourth left on both of them. But I'm not going to use them anymore. I'm just going to throw them away. I did not like them. Um, I didn't see, I mean the smell is really good but I just didn't see, it says it's for beautiful volume and I didn't see any any difference in the volume of my hair and I just I don't know it feels weird because you use conditioner first and it makes your hair feel really soft and then you use the shampoo and then it just kind of eh, is not so soft anymore and I didn't really like that feeling I like the feeling when I wash my hair and then I condition it and then my hair just is so silky soft and so I will not be repurchasing this <clears throat> I also am retiring. This is the Acne Stress Control by Neutrogena. This is um, this is the power cream wash. It's not the scrub. But um, I did use most of this. I have a little bit left maybe up to here. But I'm not going to finish it. I'm not going to repurchase it. Um, this had a really cool feeling at first. I did really enjoy it for a while. It had kind of a icy hot feeling to it when you would put it on your skin. Um, like in the shower, if I would use this in the shower, in the hot shower, after I washed off my face and rinsed it off, it was, it kind of gave me like this cool feeling, like a cold feeling. It actually felt really cool, but this kind of dried out my skin a little bit and I didn't really like the stinging feeling of it because I don't get a lot of breakouts and so I just, I'm just not going to repurchase this. <clears throat> and I also used up the, um toner of that. This is the Acne Stress Control Oil Free Triple Action Toner. And I actually did really like this. I did repurchase this. This is a good toner. It doesn't have an overpowering smell like a lot of them do. It has more of a relaxing smell to it, I guess. And I did really like this toner. It did not burn my face. And I put this on in the morning and at night. And so I will... I obviously did repurchase this, but I'm not sure if I'll repurchase it again or if I'll try something different. It's kind of hard for me to find a good toner, so if you know of any, just let me know. Um, and then I used up, this is the Beauty Protector Protect and Tangle Leave-In Conditioner. I got this little sample with my Birch Box a couple months ago, and 
a detangler and a leave-in conditioner is very challenging for me to find a good one because my hair is so fine and I have a lot of it and so oops especially when I get out of the shower that's when it's the tangliest and so I would use this I actually really like this I had a good smell to it it kind of had like a vanilla smell to it and it was a little bit thicker it wasn't just like a watery spray and I feel like this did work a lot so I might go on and find this or if I see it in the stores I'll probably pick it up even if it is a little bit more expensive because I think this is probably the best detangler I've ever tried um, and I'm not really sure of the brand of it it kind of looks like it's like the beauty protector brand I don't know I'm not quite sure so if I see it I'll pick it up but I probably won't go searching for it I also used up this is the Garnier um, texture tease this is the dry touch finishing spray and it says it has an extra strong hold of three out of five and it says it holds lift and texture um this was all right but it was it's not something I'm gonna repurchase I used this up a few weeks ago and I just like I just don't really think I'll repurchase this again it wasn't that great I didn't really see a big difference with my hair it did smell good but other than that no I'm not gonna repurchase <clears throat> I also used this is this is this is um, a parlor product this is also a detangler and leave-in conditioner um, I also got this for a sample in my birch box and I loved this I love I get a lot of parlor products in my birch boxes and I really they all smell amazing I love the way these smell they just are have like a fruity like mature fruity scent to it and it just smells really good I didn't as far as like how good it worked I mean it didn't it definitely made a difference but I didn't like it wasn't like oh my god this is amazing I mostly just like this because of the smell because it did smell really good um Another thing I am retiring, this is the Studio 35 Beauty brand, and this is the Anti-Puff Eye Roller. And I got this from Walgreens, and it's just like this little roller, you just like, you're supposed to just like roll it under your eyes and it's supposed to help the puffiness and your, you know, dark circles, and I used this for a couple weeks and I did not see a difference at all. It just made that under my eyes really shiny, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw that away. Um, <clears throat> I'm also retiring. This is the Garnier Full and Plush Mega Full Thickening Lotion. And this also has a 3 out of 5 strong hold. And it says it's 24 hour thicker, fuller body. And I would spray this on when I got out of the shower and I did not again see a difference with this I have really problem hair where it just wants to lay flat doesn't really have any volume and so I didn't use I didn't see any any difference with this so I'm not gonna repurchase um, the other thing I'm retiring this is the um, Neutrogena rapid clear stubborn acne and this is the daily leave-on mask now I bought all three of these. I bought the spot one where you just put it on certain spots and I bought the actual face wash. The actual face wash the actual face wash I used maybe once or twice and it burned my skin. And like I said, as you can see, I don't have really any breakouts. If I do, it's on my chin area and I don't have any right now. And even when it was like that, it burned my face. So I will not be repurchasing. I'm also I also thought this one would be good because it, it is the daily leave-on mask. It dried up my skin so much and I would just put like a thin layer on some problem spots and it looked like, like I couldn't even put makeup on because it would just like, it had like a peeling look and sensation to it and it just like looked awful and I didn't feel like it did a big, like it didn't do anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw that away. And I also used up, <clears throat> this is another sample I got from Birchbox. This is the Amica Undone Texture Spray. I actually really enjoyed this. I have tried the dry uh, dry shampoo of this, and it left like little, it looked like a dandruff in my hair, and so I didn't like that. Um, but I got this as a sample, and this is the Texture Spray, and I really like this. It has a really nice smell to it, 
and it did work as a good texture spray. It wasn't overpowering, but I did see a big difference. And so if I do come across this, I probably will repurchase. Um, and then I also used up, these are the Swispers Cotton Rounds. I use these in the morning and at night for my toners. Um, and so I will be, I did repurchase these. I love the Swispers brand. Um, and then I'm also throwing away, this is my Real Tex Techniques um, Beauty Blender Sponge. And I love these. I have repurchased these. I usually get a new one every month to two months. Um, and I'll usually go when they're, I'll usually get them when they're like buy one get one half off or buy two get one free. And so I'll stock up on them, but I love these things. And I usually don't clean them, I just use them until they're really gross and I can't put any more product on them and then I just throw it away and get a new one. And I'm also throwing away, this is, I'm not sh quite sure what this is, but it's one of those um, <clears throat> complexion type brushes. This is the Earth Therapeutics brush. And you're supposed to use it to help wash your face. <coughs> And actually the brush itself wasn't so bad. I did notice a difference and it was really nice to be able to use this. The bristles are very soft. However, this does not dry out. It stays wet. Like there was one time where I didn't use this for a week and it's still pretty wet. You can see it on my finger. It's disgusting. I feel like bacteria is going to get in it. And I feel like they're just going to start molding. And I've only had this for about a month and a half, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw this away because I just don't feel like it's safe or clean to use. <clears throat> and another thing was I used the Infallible Pro um, L'Oreal Makeup Setting Spray. And um, this makeup setting sprays I don't really see a huge difference and this one was all right but I like I said I just didn't see a big difference with my makeup after using this but I did buy just a little sample to try it and I will not be repurchasing and the last thing I'm getting rid of is this is the ology brand and I got this from Walgreens this is just a lip balm it's the tangerine um, it's the tangerine flavor and it does smell good and the reason why I bought it is because I love chapstick and the packaging at the store the actual packaging it came in was really cute and so I thought it would work but I like thicker um, chapsticks and this one is not very thick and you almost have to like push to get it all on and it still doesn't have a lot of product when it goes on and so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this away also so that is all for my empties. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up if you like it. Um, and again, if you know any good toners, just go ahead and leave that in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. But other than that, thanks for watching.